please join me in welcoming the Chancellor of UCLA, Jean Block. So first, congratulations to the class of 2016. You've, you've earned it. We're really very proud of you. So I'm glad to be here with you. I'm thrilled to celebrate your achievements and the beginnings of your new adventures, because soon you will be graduates. So, so much has gone on to bringing you here to this moment. You've studied and questioned and practiced. Your families have sacrificed, supported and guided. Your teachers have inspired, challenged and mentored. And who knows, even a few university administrators may have helped you along the way, hopefully. <laughs> your, UCLA, your UCLA community, your home community, your family, everyone here today, and everyone who could not be here, all of those who've helped you make this happen, we all take pride in your accomplishments and we celebrate you. So to everyone, students, parents, relatives, friends, faculty, and staff, my thanks and congratulations. You've all helped bring us to this day, so thank you all. So we're here to celebrate, but we're also aware that today's celebration takes place in the wake of last week's tragedy. Last week, we were reminded how fragile we are. We were reminded how vulnerable communities can be. We are reminded that in times of trouble, we must take refuge in one another's compassion and kindness. We're also reminded that we need courage, we need resilience in times of crises, and that the bonds of love and community are indispensable to health and healing. So I'm addressing you today as the class of 2016, but really I'm addressing you all as individuals. You've come from different places, brought different talents, made different contributions. For many of you, coming to UCLA was a dream come true. But for many of you, UCLA was where you began to dream anew. For all of you, I hope that UCLA showed you that you can make your dreams a reality. You're an extraordinary group of young individuals who will make a difference in this world, and we're so proud of everything you've accomplished here, but more to be accomplished later. So one thing I'm certain about at this moment is you don't want to hear a long speech. I know that. You don't want me to be profound by quoting Plato. You don't even want me to try to be cool by quoting Drake. You just, you just, you just want it short and sweet. I get that. I get that. However, I do want to get one thing across to you today, and I think I want to leave you with one idea that for me is really axiomatic, and that is, and, and this is very true, the world needs you. That is, who you are, what you have to give to the world needs it now. The world needs it now. When we look at the world, our countries, we come from many countries, our communities, many communities, we can see that much is right, but much is wrong, and there's a great deal that needs repair. You only need to look as far as Los Angeles, our neighbors, to appreciate the urgency of your attention and action. Yes, you're entering a world with enormous challenges, but you're also entering a world that really needs you to bring everything you can bring to help. The intelligence that got you into UCLA, obviously, with all these applications, the world needs that. The perseverance that allowed you to flourish at UCLA and are here for graduation, well, the world needs that. Your ability to form relationships, cooperate and solve problems with those from different backgrounds, well, the world really won't survive without that. They need that too. What brought you to UCLA, what you've learned here, how you've grown here, all that you take away from here, the world needs all of that. The world needs people like one of your classmates, Kim Anya Dike, who made national headlines when she was 15, just 15, by piloting a four-seat plane from Compton, California to Newport News, Virginia. Kim was amazing, amazing. Kim, Kim was accompanied by one of the famed Tuskegee Airmen, a member of the all-black air squadron that helped win World War II. At her stops across the nation, 50 of the Tuskegee Airmen came out to greet her and autograph her airplane. However, what really distinguishes Kim is that she's gone on to become a registered emergency uh, medical technician and a member of UCLA's Flying Samaritans, which brings, which, which brings volunteer medical care to Tijuana and a mentor at At Risk, uh, Risk Youth in South Los Angeles where she grew up. So she's, she's doing everything. That spirit, that spirit, that daring, 
that commitment to others, that's what the world needs. The world needs uh, Nancy Quintanilla. Not only was Nancy a co-president of our chapter uh, of Chicanos and Native Americans in Science, she was also involved in clinical work in medical programs for the underserved. A volunteer Spanish translator for two years at the Venice Family Clinic, which serves low-income and uninsured patients, she also leads community talks on topics like teen health, the importance of vaccination, and sexual health. She, pl she plans to stay at UCLA for a public health minor and plans to work towards an MD and a master's in public health. Nancy, the world needs your dedication to public service. Okay. Justine Bateman. Yes, that Justine Bateman the Emmy-nominated star of the TV show Family Ties and an activist for net neutrality. Justine started at UCLA at 46. She designed her own independent degree program, started two blogs to highlight students who enrolled in college later in life, and is looking to innovate in the digital media industry. Justine, the world needs your talent for reinvention. The world, the world needs Kevin Hale, who distinguished himself here is both an American Indian Student Association peer counselor and his powwow coordinator. Kevin also dedicated 400 hours to internships and addiction studies and served as a residential and outpatient substance abuse counselor. Kevin now plans to get a master's in social work from UCLA. Kevin, the world needs your empathy and your commitment to mentorship. Grant. Grant Guess is someone in the world also with, with funding from the UCLA Global Citizens Fellowship and the Strauss Scholarship Foundation. He has spent two summers in Togo helping develop an agribusiness at a local school which helped fund services for young people with conditions ranging from Asperger's to autism to cerebral palsy and brain damage. Well, the world clearly needs Grant's compassion. Jamie Cañas, a former foster youth and transfer student, came to UCLA shortly after a severe motorcycle accident. Jamie pushed herself to heal beyond the doctor's expectations and demonstrated commitment to service through her leadership in the Bruin Resource Center, the Academic Advancement Program, and her support of foster youth. She plans to attend law school and open her own nonprofit to serve LGBT and homeless youth. The world needs Jamie's passion for supporting the vulnerable. Incredible. Chrissy Keenan, she's, she's another classmate that the world needs. A leader in her efforts to, pre to prevent and draw awareness to sexual violence on campus and in the community. She was co-director of the Bruin Consent Coalition and an intern in the Campus Assault Resources and Education Office. Chrissy has been a spokesperson for educating students about affirmative consent and the role that each of us plays in preventing sexual misconduct and assault. Chrissy, the world needs you to help make it safer for all of us. Thank you. So, what we look at in the size of this class, that's just a few of our members of the class of 2016. There's many more of you who have realized extraordinary achievements, who have made breakthroughs in the arts and sciences, who have dedicated time and energy to important causes, to making the world more fair, to help understanding the world more deeply and helping and healing others. The university's motto is, let there be light, fiat lux. But I'm going to change that a bit here. I'm going to say, let there be your light, not someone else's light, really your light. Your light is not going to look exactly like the light of the classmates I mentioned. It's not going to look exactly like your sibling's light. It's not going to look like your parents' or your professor's light. It's going to look like your light. It's going to shine through your own distinct, brilliant, sometimes bizarre, and beautiful ways. Have faith, and if you let it shine, if you let it shine so that you can be the light for others, you'll be the best version of yourself. So we call Bruins the optimists. But optimism is not blind faith that everything will magically be all right. Optimiz optimism is the conviction that intelligence, hard work, understanding, Courage, compassion, and creativity can, can make tomorrow better than today. Optimism is knowing that only those qualities, only that conviction, have made today better than yesterday. You will need that optimism in the years ahead. 
you'll need that optimism to help you get through the hard times, and that optimism will be rewarded when you enjoy the good times. So as you go forth, remember that you have what the world needs and that the world needs you. You at your bravest, you are at your most insightful, you are at your most loving, you are at your most creative, and you at your most committed. And today, I sense that optimism among all of you. You're going to make a difference. So congratulations, class of 2016. You're spectacular. Thank you.